Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to draw this dog. Since Charlie's been a little sick lately, what you'll need is a pencil and a piece of paper. Okay, first you're going to draw two eyes and around the, around this area of the paper, you know, the top part, not too top, like a little under it, like here. And you can have different types of eyes. Here are the different types that you can have. And while I'm drawing it, decide which one you want. You can pause the video at any time of point that you want. Okay, once you've drawn the eyes, start drawing the nose. It, you can have it be any shape you want. Literally, you can, that one, you, you don't even need a sheet, it's, you can literally have it be a triangle. I'm just going to have it be a little square as well. Square, circleish. And for the muzzle, any type you want. If you have any of these choices, I'm just going to go for a little neutral. Okay. Okay, once you've drawn that, just draw the ears. I'm gonna draw, you can literally have any ears you want. Chihuahua ears. I'm just gonna draw goofy ears. Like, go around. Yeah, like that. But make it a little thicker around this area if you're doing goofy ears like this. And on the other side. Okay, now draw the top part. It should go a little up slightly. You want you sh so that you won't even notice. So flat. Then start going down a bit to meet up with the ear. If it's not bent up, then just make it meet up like that. Next, uh, draw its you know jaws. Uh, by starting by the ear, left or right, whatever you want, and don't start at the direct point that it ends, but like a little into it, like maybe a couple, like maybe a millimeter. And just draw, I'll twist the paper so it's easier. And if it doesn't meet up, once again, just draw it in to make it meet up. Next. You can start with the body. I'm gonna make a little, it, like, it, you know, bag st standing up, you know? Like so. Next, draw the two areas where you want your arms to be. So my arms are gonna be right from here to around here. And now draw the back legs. And the tail. Later I'll show you how to make the back to where it looks like it's moving around like I did in the picture there. Okay, so now let's move on with the arms. If your arms are going to come out of your dog, you know, just add the body area and then just erase around there. My arms are going to bend a bit. that. You'll see why later. Well, well, you already saw. There. So these are my arms. They're flailing out. Anyway, erase those two dots and just draw the line to that point. So you should be able to slightly see that eraser mark. Okay. Now um, start where you want your eyes to be. My eyes are going to be looking up and crossed. If it's not big enough, then make the other eye bigger to make it sort of line up. And you can draw it in or color it in. 
and if, once you're around halfway, decide if you're gonna have a shadow or not. I'm gonna have a shadow, right here, and a little one here. So draw the same on the other eye. Just draw it in. Make it look better and not so out of order later. So now doing the other eye. This is like very simple for beginners. Since Charlie's sick, whenever he's sick, I'll just do one of these videos, drawing a dog or drawing something cartoony. Anyway, now coloring the nose because. Unless you want it to be pink, then just color it through the pencil. That. Now, what it's gonna be, you can draw whatever it's looking at. So, my dog's looking at a little bee on its head. So, draw a circle if you're drawing a bee. A little pointy edge there. A little eye there. My leafy. And the wings. So erase part of it so the wings stick out of its body, of course. And a little crisscross thing. And well, the bees are black and what uh black and yellow. <laughs> like that. This little tail is black. So there's the bee. Now you're done. Unless you want to do the effect. For the effect, you'll just need, uh, first of all, the area you want to affect, you'll outline it black later, but for now, just, I'm gonna affect the tail, as you see here. Anyway, just have a pretend there's another tail here. Just draw another tail really lightly, like that. That's a little after, maybe some beforeness of it, you know, before of it, what was. And then just draw a little really sharp line curve, and then curve around here, because that's the direction it was going in. So it looks pretty affected. For the arm, it pretended it was twisting. So it started off like here, then it went a little more this way, a little straighter, then start to curve in there and then a little after what it will be anyway so do a little and after and the same for the other arm before or after you know just however you want it to be That's it. If you want it to look cute or not, you can add a little beagle effect. You know, that line that most beagles have. That cute. Just have, have a line like that. Around and over. And, and then for the stomach, just make a, a lower than, you know, more inward than what these lines were. So. Open it up a bit and close it. And same for the other. Open up. You can open it up a little lower and looks uh, like a uh, cute, like it twisted its body. There you have it. And you can color it in with whatever you want. And don't forget to outline the affected parts a lot. Get a sharpie or just really express it with your mechanical pencil, like so. And there you have it. I'll hopefully see you next week. If not, I'll just do a drawing again with, for Charlie. Okay. Here you go. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a like if you enjoyed.